Hey everyone, it's Karen. Last week I did up this hat with a stitch that I decided to call Lacy Links. Um, but there was, to me, one issue with this particular pattern, and that's the fact that there's this st strip going down the back, and that's st stitch 1 and 46. So, I decided to revise it, and I wound up getting a completely different hat. I still have some of the links in here, like in this here one, but it just has so much of a nicer pattern to it. You, the links are diagonal here, and you have no flaws or gaps like on this here one, sorry. Um, I mean, I guess you could always do the hat black and make a white braid or something and put it down the back, make it look like a skunk if you wanted to. That would be a purpose for that particular piece. So, um, because I changed the pattern a little bit, I figured I would uh, share it with you. So, I've already done, whoops, uh, sorry, I've already done my 65 rows. And now I'm going to show you how I did that particular stitch that I think I'm just going to call diagonal links. Why not? So in here, um, I'm at the end of row 64 here. So here's row 65. So the first two, I go around like I did with the lacy link. The second and the third stitch here is just a single. Then I do a double and a single. And I do this all the way around. And it actually takes three rounds to get back to where you started. Um, where you go on the two black needles first. So we'll just uh, do this as fast as possible. Sorry, I don't have any editing software and I don't know how to speed this up. So just bear with me, please. Go ahead and just fast forward it if you choose to. So this constant two one, I did get uh, a little bit confused earlier because I had to walk away and I had to stop and think what I was actually doing. So it makes it a little bit tough at times. But this time I went to 65 rows before I started the pattern, just because with this particular one, it um, it really uh, stretches a long way, I guess, with that particular stitch. So I just wanted to uh, make sure that everything... Er, <laughs> sorry, my words aren't working well today. I just wanted to make sure that there was a little bit of a brim on this hat. And unfortunately, it's just tiny one. This is the one I did this morning. So, and this was at 60 stitches. So that's why I'm doing it at 65 now to give it more of a brim. And then I give it very minimum stitches at the top. So, oops. Okay, so this is row two we're working on now. And if you always end on your single stitch, then it's easy to know where you've ended um, for when you have to go out and do something else. Me, I was crazy and I'd stop on the single, then I'd stop on the double, then I'd stop on the single, and then the double. So I was always trying to figure out where I was at. So I'm just going to ah, always stop on a single now for this particular pattern that way it makes it easier and you know where you're at okay so you notice here's the third round so your first one here is a single that's how you know when you're on row three is when your first black stitch is a single 
and we'll just keep going here. And once again, my uh, clamps for this are packed, ready for us to move. I haven't gone to my son's place to pick them up. I've been trying to just hibernate because of the COVID. I don't like uh, <clears throat> I don't like going out because I do have one of the markers, I guess, to where it could be bad for me. So, whoops. Okay, that there one did not go well. Okay. Whoops, there we go. I almost had a big mistake there. Okay, we should be coming around to the beginning again. And again, always make sure that you've got the two needles up so that you can do your rounds on them. So there we go. We're right back at the beginning. We're back on the row one of the pattern. It's very, very easy to do. Oops. I almost stopped in the wrong spot again. And at the end of it, <clears throat> when you are done, this is the pattern that you will wind up with. And at the top, I only did just a few rows of plain knitting. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and uh, making this hat. Have a great one. Bye.